everyone! In this video, I'll show you how I color eyes using Olo chisel markers. Start by applying the darkest color first. I'm using OR 3.8 Coffee on the top part of the eye. This is where the lashes cast a shadow. Color around the iris using the top edge of your chisel. And the lines don't have to be perfect for this because I'll blend this later. And now go over with OR 3.7 color mocha and layer the colors on top of each other and blend it nicely. When coloring small areas, use the fine edge or fine tip of your chisel to prevent the ink from going out of line. And next, use the color OR 3.4 Latte and do the same thing, layer it and blend the colors together. The lighter colors are going to push the ink off the paper and it creates a nice texture. Now, I'm going to use the lightest color, OR 3.2 Cashew, to push the ink off even more. Now, using OR 3.2, I'm going to utilize all the edges of my chisel and add some details using different line thickness. Gently go over and saturate the paper. You can see the ink gradually coming off the paper. Lightly dab a little bit of OR 3.4 and OR 3.7 around the edge to add more depth. Lightly stroke toward the pupil using the fine edge of the chisel to add some more line details. And now I'm using OR 3.4 to do some final touches. Really blend them together. Push that ink a little bit more off the page to add some nice details. For the pupil, I'm using K Pure Black. You can just fill it in. Now, I'm going to add shading to the whites of the eye using warm gray 1 and warm gray 0. Use warm gray 1 near the lash line and use warm gray 0 to blend it. And repeat the process on the other side. Use warm gray 1 first near the lash line and warm gray 0 to blend it. And for final touches, use zero to erase any ink that went out of line and layer it on top of the gray so it gets rid of the sharp edge and make it blurred for nice smooth effect. The color I chose for the skin are OR 7.4 Milk Tea OR 7.2 Rose Beige and OR 7.1 Sand. 
I'm going to start with OR 7.4 and add some shading to where the curvature of the eye is and blend it together with rose beige OR 7.2. And now I'm going to use OR 7.1 and blend them all together. Now moving on to the bottom lid, just gonna color it real quick. I really like how the chisel nip feels on the paper. It glides on the paper. And the nib too. It feels soft when I'm coloring with it. A lot softer than what I'm used to with other brands. And so it makes it really easy to color with. I'm just going to add some final touches, bottom eyelids, pretty much finished now. As you can see, using this technique, coloring eyes with alcohol-based markers like Olo is very easy and fast. Using the same coloring technique, I'm going to color another eye. For this, I'm using B4.7 Denim, B4.6 Blueberry, B4.3 Vintage Blue, and B2.0 Ice. Color the top using the darkest color, B4.7, and add some lines around the iris. Then go over with B4.6 and blend them together. If you saturate the paper more, you'll get better blending, so don't be afraid to do so. Just make sure you don't blend it too heavily near the outline so it doesn't bleed through. And now use B4.3 and repeat the process. Just layer it on top and blend them together. And this is a lighter value, so it's going to really push the ink off the page and create a nice texture around the iris. Finally, color around the edges and around the pupil with B2.0. Use all the edges of your chisel to get different line thickness and add some nice details.
If you want to follow along and practice coloring eyes using my technique, you can download the line art for free on olomarker.com. For the pupil, I'm using BK Blue Black to add a nice cool touch. And for the whites of the eye, I'm using BG 7.0, which is a nice grayish blue green. For the skin, I'm using OR2.0 Scallop, OR2.2 Shrimp, and OR3.4 Latte. Do the same process and blend these colors together. With this coloring technique, you can color eyes with many different colors, so have fun experimenting. Thank you for watching!